I think she's scary because, well, have you seen the Annabelle doll number one? She's ginormous. And her eyes, they literally follow you like the Mona Lisa. And even if you're, like, looking at her and you're like, oh, she's staring at me, I gotta move. When you're in that position and you look back at the Annabelle doll, she's still looking at you. And also the eyebrows, they're slanted in a way that it looks like she's always planning to get you. And it's really freaky. Sister Charlotte is basically Janice's family, and she feels that she has to do everything for Janice, and she has to care to her every need. He's, like, a really awesome director, one of the best that I've worked with, and usually when you shoot a scene in a horror film, you don't feel like it's scary until you watch it, like with the music and everything, but when I'm doing the scene with David, he makes it feel really scary when I'm doing it, and that doesn't always happen. I think Linda, again, is kind of like her little sister, and Linda really looks up to Janice. So they have a really close bond. They're probably the closest, I would say, compared to all the other orphans. But her and Linda are like sisters. They're inseparable, and they've been friends ever since they were little. It's been really nice working with David. He's kind of like, he's kind of like a big Swedish teddy bear. <laughs> and that sounds weird, but he's really funny. He's super kind, but he doesn't talk that much. He'll just take everything in, and he'll just look at you and just listen. And I've never had a director will, who will literally be in a scene. We did the dollhouse scene, and he was right behind the dollhouse the whole time with his little monitor. It was hilarious because I've... Every director I've worked with has been like outside and gives me my space and that's been nice too, but he'll just be like right there and it's kind of nice to have him just be sitting over there. The set is just incredible. It blew my mind when I went on there because they have, there's so much detail. You know, and like the audience isn't gonna see all of it, but people, that's their job, that's their life, that's what they do. So it's just crazy going on that set and I just really appreciate like, being able to even be there. I think there's going to be a lot of freaky scenes, and I think people like to be scared. So I think that's why they might like it. I'm exactly not that sure of my relationship with Janice. I feel like I'm her friend, but I'm kind of getting older. I'm not in the 10-year-old group anymore, so I'm kind of hanging out with Carol and Nancy and they've accepted me into their group, and I'm more close with them, but I'm definitely still friends with Janice. My sister Charlotte, she's really, I don't know, laid back for a nun, like, but she's super nice to all the orphans. I mean, I guess we all know who's her favorite, but yeah, she's really nice to us. She's always like there for us, kind of over there protecting us. Hey horror fans, stay with me as I've got some facts from horror movies. Now in order to make Samara's walk as creepy as possible in the ring, they filmed her walking backwards and then reversed the shot. Now the skeletons in Poltergeist are not props, they are real human skeletons. And the real life Lorraine Warren makes a cameo in The Conjuring as an audience member while the character Lorraine Warren is speaking. What's your favourite horror movie? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to keep up to date on all the latest releases.